How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Car Collection back with another Through the Mail Tuesday video. This week we got a nice little stack of nine returns. Pretty pumped to see who they are. I think a good bit of them are going to be, at least hopefully, I um, think a good bit of them is going to be from uh, that card show I went to a while back where I was picking up cards in the, the 50 cent box and like the dollar and two dollar box. So I sent a bunch of those out and it looks like we got a nice little return. So. Hoping some of these are those, but without further ado, we'll put these up here and we'll go up to Rochester, New York. All of them have hard cards too, which is usually a good sign. Usually means I'm fairly confident something's going to come back. And we got a good one here to start. Wow. Maxi Bond. Haven't gotten him before. This nice Philadelphia card and... A 69 Tops card. Really nice. College Football Hall of Famer. Nine-time Pro Baller. Not sure why he's not in the NFL. Or, I'm sorry, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Won NFL Championship in 1960. Be real careful with this card. And, I mean, geez, he was a coach for a long time at Georgia Tech, Baltimore, Minnesota Vikings. The rate, Like, you know, he's all over the place. But... Two-time first team All-Pro along with those nine Pro Bowl teams. And he is in the Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Fame. So really, really nice return. Really like this Philadelphia card. And of course, really like this 1969 Tops card. I have to go to my spreadsheet here. It looks like this came back in 34 days. Not too bad, guys. Really strong way to start this off. Nine Pro Balls and not in the Hall of Fame. I don't know how that's possible. Second return is from Macon, Georgia. Another hard card, of course. Hey, how about the 17 and 0 Dolphins? Been getting a handful of them back lately. Manny Fernandez. This guy had an amazing Super Bowl. I don't know how he was not Super Bowl MVP. I think he had 17 tackles and a sack. I mean, absolutely insane. See here guys, sorry I'm looking at my spreadsheet here, but also he was a two-time All-Pro, spent his entire career with the Dolphins, won two Super Bowls with them, including that amazing Super Bowl against the Redskins, I believe it was. He also, I think in his, his whole career, he had, uh, was it 35 sacks, but he had a bunch of tackles and sacks in, the, uh, in all the Super Bowls he played in. I believe he played in three total. One of which the Dolphins lost, two they won. But this came back super quick. This was a part of those 50 cent boxes. Really like how he put the 17 and 0 inscription on here. Came back in just seven days. So thank you, Mr. Manny Fernandez. We're going to put that one there. Um, and that was free. It didn't require a fee, so thank you. How about another return from Pittsburgh, PA? Could be one of many people. I feel like we get a lot of Pittsburgh, PA returns. Oh, nice. Another linebacker that should be in the Hall of Fame and another 1973 Topps card, Andy Russell. Awesome card. When I first started uh, posting things on this channel, the very first return I posted was an Andy Russell return. This is my second time sending to him TTM. Really, really nice. This came back very quickly, too. This came back in just nine days, guys. Met him before in person. He of course, he's a great guy, of course. Two-time Super Bowl champion. Was the Pittsburgh Steelers Steel Curtain team captain. Seven-time Pro Baller. Three-time Second Team All-Pro. Part of the Pittsburgh Steelers All-Time team. I mean, he was really there to kick off the Steel Curtain in the Steelers dynasty in the 1970s. Really great return. Really happy to add this card to the collection. Great signature there in black. Card is beat up, which was perfect for TTM. I was super excited to find this in that 50 cent box. Um, thank you, Mr. Andy Russell. He did not require a fee. If you have not sent them before, I really suggest doing so. I, he really deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. Next return from LA. Going all the way across the country. Wow, that's a really good return this week. No hard card this time. And we got two. Willie McGinnis card. Both prisms. I really 
I picked these up on eBay. I think I picked this up for like a dollar and they sent this one for free. It's a base one along with it, the eBay seller. That red, white, and blue with the Patriots colors just looks absolutely amazing. Louis McGinnis, of course, went to USC. Let me look at my spreadsheet here and see how long it took to get these ones back. I'm all over the place, as usual. This came back in 31 days, so pretty quick. He, of course, is a three-time Super Bowl champion with these Patriots. He was really there when their dynasty started. He's a two-time pro baller. He had like over 80 sacks. I think it was like 86 career sacks. Um, and he has the most... He has, I think in uh, Patriots history, he has the most career postseason sacks with 16. Really great return, guys. Look at this red, white, and blue with those Patriot colors. Just looks really great. I had to prep these cards pretty hard. I'm really happy how the signatures turned out on them. I got like an orange Disco Prism card, too, of his. And I just felt weird sending three of the same, even though they're, you know, different, I guess, inserts or variations of the card. Um... Really happy I chose to send this one out with the, the base. That looks really, really cool. A lot of defenders today. How about we go to Tampa St. Pete? This one does have a hard card. Gary Peters. All right. Former Rookie of the Year. Two-time All-Star. This is, of course, his 1960 rookie card, where this is uh, J.C. Martin, a little uh, uncorrected error card, so signed over here, of course. Got a nice 1966 tops and a nice 64 tops with that, uh, I love those uh, rookie cups there. So, Mr. Gary Peters had a career 325 earn run average, really nice career there. Um, played for the Red Sox and the Chicago White Sox. Really like his socks. Of course, the 1963 uh, Rookie of the Year in the AL. Led the AL in ER twice. Wins once. And was a two-time All-Star. And this card turned out fantastic. The 64. Look at that. I'm not sure if I'm going to send this 1960 card to J.C. Martin or not. He does sign TTM. be kind of cool, I guess, to, to complete the card. But it looks pretty good, too. I'd probably have to pick up some J.C. Martin's cards. But really nice blue ink on these cards. Really like that. Thank you, Mr. Gary Peters. I'm going to put these right here. Our first baseball return of the week. And that one, let me check the spreadsheet. I don't think I let you guys know. Came back in just 16 days. So nice, quick turnaround. Thank you, Mr. Gary Peters. How about we go to North Texas, Dallas, Texas? I fill a hard card. I don't cut in anything there. Pull that out. Mel Renfro. All right, another Hall of Famer. Right, I'm sorry, he's our first Hall of Famer. We have two should-be Hall of Famers up here. How about the 1970 and the 1971 Topps card? He's right under Gary Peters in my uh, spreadsheet. This came back in just 12 days and did take a, uh, a $10 fee per card, so I sent him two, or I sent him a $20 bill. Pretty nice. Put this one in here. He was a two-time Super Bowl champ. 10-time Pro Baller. Get this card over here. Is, of course, in the Cowboys Ring of Honor. Led the NFL in interceptions in 1969. Seven-time All-Pro. In the College Football and Pro Football Hall of Fame. Went to Oregon, of course. Really great return by Mr. Mel Renfro. Look at that. Nice blue signature. Put the Hall of Fame inscription on there. I think a while back he was a $5 per fee. Um, but I'm pretty sure he went up to 10 per. So if you send to him, I would definitely advise doing $10, $10 donations per. We're going to put these down here. So we got a couple more to go. We got three more total to go. Billings, Montana. Kind of throwing me for a loss here. Not sure who's in Billings, Montana. But we will find out. Hard card. Ooh, Tom Mack. All right. This one definitely threw me for a loop. Got a nice 64, or I'm sorry, a 73 and a 71. That 71 is his second year card. I'm going to have to do some research here on my spreadsheet because, like I said, Billings, Montana, I did not, I don't know. I guess he's out of Nevada. At least that's where I sent it to, and it came back from uh, Billings, Montana. If I go to my spreadsheet, though, this came back in 11 days. Um, I've seen mixed reviews on him for fees and stuff. 
I've seen uh, five dollars a card or ten dollars a card. I've seen nothing. A lot of people just don't send anything. I sent him five dollars a card. He's actually gonna be at the national signing for forty dollars. So didn't have him. He s seems to be a TTM legend in terms of just having great requests. I've seen even some people in um, Las Vegas where he's shown up at their front door and handed them the signed card. So really cool return by Tom Mack. Great Hall of Fame 99 there. So 73 tops, 71 tops. I've got some other cards of his. I'm, I'm going to wait maybe another, you know, six or six to nine months to send off to him. But I am definitely looking forward to sending to him again. Fantastic card for those uh, Los Angeles Rams. Was it Los Angeles at that time? Yeah. Los Angeles Rams. They went L.A. to St. Louis, back to L.A. Kind of missed that sunshine. But we'll put that 71 tops there next to the uh, Mel Renfro. So we're picking up the Hall of Famers now. Okay, we got a very thick one here. Not sure. And they taped it really strongly, too. Let me be very, very gentle on this one, guys. I don't want to screw anything up. So, bear with me, please. There we go. As I hit the camera, we're going to cut through the bottom part this time. It seems like there's a lot in here. I'm not sure what it is. Readjust our camera here for a second. Looks like it's Bob Veal. Oh, what are we doing here? Wrote a nice little letter on mine. Back and forth. How about that? 1965? Yeah, 19... Oh. Looks great. And a 67. That looks really good though. Look at that 71 Tops car. We picked this up in a mail day not that long ago. Man, really, really nice looking car here. But yeah, Bob Veal guys, sorry. I was just admiring that blue ink on this 71 Tops car. If you guys have been following along, I've been trying to get um, a bunch of the World Series Pirates 71 Tops actually going to be uh it's not for me it's my for my father so the rest of these are they're going into my collection the 71s are going in his but bob veal great left-handed pitcher two-time all-star of course won the world series with the pirates back in 1971 um also led the league in strikeouts in 1964 so pretty good pitcher right there behind the steve blast in the rotation it seems this came back i want to say pretty quick in just 13 days i'm going to take a look here at his what he wrote here very curious to see fold up my full letter here it says stay safe may god bless you bob veal pittsburgh pirates 1971 world series champs Let's see if i can fold that bad boy back for you all Nineteen seventy world series champs that's pretty cool. I'm going to have to save this one. I always save when they write stuff back, but I usually fold them up and put them in behind a top loader behind one of the cards. That's really nice, though. Thank you, Mr. Bob Veal. That's, that's really class act. I appreciate that. It's awesome. Again, just came back in 13 days, guys. Really, really nice return. Trenton, New Jersey is where we're going to end it. been trying to go through these as quick as I can. Well, still appreciating them or appreciating them as we go along. All right, we got a one of one from Mr. Ville, Phil Filapiano, 1973 tops. This is one of those 50 cent cards I picked up. Pretty, pretty cool return. Of course, he was a four time pro baller, won Super Bowl with these, uh, with these Raiders. He actually had a really, really nice goal line stop, um, during the game and I think forced a fumble, which kind of Changed the whole momentum of that Super Bowl. So this came back really quick. Just seven days. Really nice blue ink there. Really nice looking signature. This may actually be his rookie card. I'm not sure if he had a card in 72, but I'm pretty sure this is his rookie card. So really excited to add this to the collection. Thank you, sir. Look at what we got going on today, guys. We got just one, two baseball, two baseball, um, bunch of football, two Hall of Famers, Couple should be Hall of Famers. Couple of big Super t um, Super Bowl playmakers. Three, I guess you could say you had in William McGinnis. Wow, what a great week! Again, appreciate you all watching. Um, thank you for following this journey with me. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. And I hope your mailboxes are full as well. 
and I hope to see you all next week with more returns. Thank you. Bye.